there's just got to be a way to make $20,000. And I maybe say that every day because I'm still trying to figure it out. Welcome to Tuna Talk, a talk show where I get about two minutes to chat with some of my favorite people. That person today is first of all starting one of my favorite movies of all time, The Brady Bunch Movie, where she plays the role of Jan. She's been in shows like Web Therapy, Will and Grace, The Comeback, and currently plays Sister Fiona on Mrs. Davis on Peacock. It is Jennifer Elise Cox. Thank you so much for being here. I'm such a big fan of yours. Loved you since The Brady Bunch Movie. Thank I have to you. tell you, two of my friends, we get together about once a year and we play a drinking game to The Brady Bunch Movies, which is dangerous. Oh my God, dangerous, when do but... you drink? When do you drink? Okay. So we've learned that you cannot try to do both in the same night because you drink anytime they say the word Brady, which that alone, anytime uh, they reference the old show and anytime the Brady's are oblivious to the world. And then you take a shot for RuPaul whenever RuPaul's on the screen. Oh, you have to. You have to. Our guidance counselor. Yes. <laughs> giving me guidance. But I'm so excited to talk to you. So I'm going to start our two minute timer and see what we can get through. All right. Okay, so I know that you were a huge Brady Bunch fan before you were in the movie. Is Jan the only role that you auditioned for? Jan was the last role cast. So it was, I got in like, you know, in the 11th hour, oh luckily. Oh my gosh. Only role I auditioned for. I, I fancied myself a Marsha, but I'm a Jan. Yeah, there's so many like iconic scenes, iconic lines from both of the Brady Bunch movies. Do you have a favorite scene or a favorite line? My favorite line is, there's just got to be a way to make $20,000. And I maybe say that every day because I'm still trying to figure it out. There's got to be a way. How do we do it? How do we do it? Have you seen all the videos on TikTok of everybody reenacting like the George Glass scene and the scene yes. of you all at the kitchen table? I love those scenes on TikTok and people send them to me every day and I just die. And I'm just, I'm obsessed with how good people are at doing Jan. Now, the sure Jan meme, I mean, I use it almost every day. Do you personally use the sure Jan meme? I sure do. I find it very descriptive about a whole bunch of different things, you know, and you know, Jan is not so honest when she's talking about her boyfriend. I love that you do cameos as Jan. Is it fun for you to get back into that character for these fans? I love it. I love that I get to still play Jan and I'm this age and you know, I just, I have an Afro wig here. I have the original <laughs> Jan glasses. I have prop pieces. It's like, if you want your cameo, I can like hook you up with full authentic Jan. She's just a little bit older. I love it. <laughs> and I also love you on web therapy. I read online that there was no script for that show. Is that true? Web therapy was completely improvised. We had like pinpoints, kind of like curb your enthusiasm where they say, go to this point and this point. But then it was like dreamy improvising with Lisa Kudrow. <sighs> She's like the MVP of improv. Yeah. She just lifts you up. Like she would set me up for jokes. It was so much fun. And then our two minutes are up. But before we go, I want to make sure that I ask you about Mrs. Davis on Peacock. You currently play Sister Fiona in that show. First of all, I have to ask, because I watched the first episode the other day. When, so good. When they pour whatever, like the jelly or the jam on you all, what was that in real life? This is such a good question because it's a new um, concoction that they came up with. It, it was some kind of water and I think it had sugar in it. And um, literally they were like, don't get it underwater. Just wipe it with a towel. And you wiped it with the towel and it came off. I mean, it oh, was really? Genius. Genius. And then for anybody <laughs> watching or listening who has not um, seen Mrs. Davis yet, can you just give a brief description of what the show's about? Yes. Mrs. Davis is so timely right now, what it's about. It's really, it's faith versus technology, but it's literally faith versus AI. And we are dealing with this in spades right now. Mm -hmm. Like the whole thing, of, like they think that AI is going to replace writers. Give me a break. But I mean, this AI stuff is scary. It really is. It's creepy. And I don't want them to take over and kill us. No. No. But no, <laughs> that is so true. What they're trying to do in uh, Mrs. Davis is a great show. It's so funny and smart and interesting. Jennifer, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. I thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope I get to do a drinking game with you sometime. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sweetie. And a huge thank you to everybody for watching or listening to this week's episode. Make sure to tune in next time for more Tuta Talk.